Hi, welcome back to Holly Hobbies. Let's make this easy cross wreath together using a Dollar Tree wreath frame. This wreath is beginner friendly and the results are spectacular. So let's have some fun and get started and craft this gorgeous spring Easter wreath together. So we're going to start cutting our deco mesh and you can use any kind of deco mesh of your choice and we're going to cut it in 10 inch strips. So I have my first section cut in 10 inch strip and we're going to keep, it doesn't matter if you go this way or this way, but let's just keep it all the same. I like to do the finished edge at the top and we're just going to make a triangle here. And then we're going to start from the bottom and we're going to go right up to the point and we're going to just fold it that way and you'll see it makes almost like little angel wings, All right? And then we're going to flip those over. I think it looks better when you flip it over but you see how you got angel wings. so we flipped our wings over and we have it here in the center and we're going to put our chanel stem under the we're going to be using the two bars here in the middle of this cross wreath frame so we're going to put our half a chanel stem under those cross bars and we're going to go about an inch inch and a half up the frame here and then always we're gonna put the zip tie or the Chanel stem about a half three quarters of an inch down from the top and then I am just going to give it a couple twists there and we can bring that back down to the bottom and give it a couple twists and with them cut in half like that you it's nice you won't have to clip them so I just wanted to show you how you can use the Chanel stems as well I'm a big fan of Chanel stems I like zip ties and Chanel stems but um, I seem to use Chanel stems a lot and if you see my sh a collection of Chanel stems I have every color known to mankind so we're gonna do 10 inch strips here and you're gonna love how fast this wreath goes. The last one I did, I used one roll. It was this kind of mesh here, and it was more of a burlap mesh, and it seemed to go through one roll exactly. So I'm gonna cut a few here. This was the last roll. For some reason, it was in the the section that I go to all the time and there was a little fall roll in there and it was, it's just so cool I love it and it just look at how neat that is I wanted something very natural looking this is going to be um, a design a concept that I have that somebody wanted and I just think this is going to go great with the concept that I'm looking for so we're gonna once again take our 10 inch strip and we have it in half. And I always like to keep this little raw edge or the finished edge, the raw edge under it just a little bit, okay? So then we're gonna go in the middle and we're just gonna start pinching right up to that point and we're gonna flip them towards us. And then I like to flip it around just because I think it looks a little bit nicer on this side when we put it on there. And we're going down with our hand about pinching it about three quarters of an inch down and that's where we're gonna secure our Chanel stem. Now we're gonna start layering our little angel wing petals here. And if you wanna just space it out from the bottom, that's up to you. However you want to do it, if you want to stack them so there's just a little space here, if you want to be real uniform, do a half an inch. So whatever you want to do, it's, it's your wreath. 
So I'm just gonna layer, stack them probably, I'm probably gonna go about three quarters of an inch when I do each one. So I'm just gonna judge it from here down at the point of the petals and then I'm gonna go under those two bars with my Chanel stem and I'm down about three quarters of an inch and I'm gonna give it a couple good twists and I'm gonna bring both of those down to the back side and we're going to give those a twist. You can clip it if you want. I'm just gonna finish it to the end and just push it down. All right, so we have two of our petals on our cross wreath frame and we're gonna keep going. We'll do one more together and we're just gonna keep doing that same method and you can see how beautiful and easy this is. And we're gonna do the same thing. I just keep judging the way I want it. I wanna keep it about the same three quarters of an inch, or maybe this one a little further. I might stack them a little closer, maybe about a half an inch, but right about there. And we're gonna just keep doing the same thing and I'm tying it about three quarters of an inch down. Give it a couple good twists. And I'll bring those Chanel stems to the bottom. And like I said before, you can use a zip tie as well. It doesn't have to be the Chanel stems. But if you do use the Chanel stems, you cut them in half and that's just a perfect size. So look at how beautiful this is coming along. We already have three of our little angel petal wings on. So I'm gonna continue with the petals and we're gonna meet back when we get closer to the top right here. So we're getting close. I've got a few staggered here, seven of them so far. And I'm gonna add one more. We're getting close here. And then we're gonna start working on the sides. And isn't this just a fun and easy method to do? I love it. And you can keep it like that as well. I'm just flipping it over because I think it looks, I like the way it looks when it's flipped over. So I'm gonna put this one right here at the end. And we're right at the, I'm putting it right here at the very, right before this bar here. So that's not gonna move, I can't slide it anymore. And we'll give this one a couple twists. See, so it's just as easy working with the Chanel stems as it is the zip ties. You don't need to have zip ties, but those are fun to work with as well. And we'll give that a couple twists. All right, so we've made our way up the cross here and look at how beautiful that is turning out. I just love it. And now we're gonna come, we're gonna do the same thing. I have another strip here. And we're gonna start on the ends of the cross now. And just like we started at the bottom, we're gonna work our way this way now. And we'll start this one. We'll go up at just about three quarters of an inch or so. And we'll start this one, the first one. There we go. And once again, I just bring it to the back side, give it a couple twists, and push the pointy part down. Okay, so I'm gonna make my way up the side here. I mean, it's probably gonna take maybe two or three more, and we'll meet back in just a So I have three of our angel petals, our angel wing petals on one side, and now we're gonna start and put do the same thing on the opposite side. And we're gonna add the three here. 
and you could see how fast this is going. And look at how beautiful it is with these petals on it so far, and we're not even finished yet. So I'm gonna add the other two petals on this side, and then we'll meet right back. We're getting close. Getting ready to put the third petal on the opposite side. And it looks like that's gonna be a perfect amount of petals. My little angel petals, angel wing petals. And now we're gonna work this last part at the top and we're gonna, I have to cut a few more and we'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna do that same thing. I cut three more and we're going to put the last three on our cross wreath design, just like we did on everything else. And we're going to finish this last part, and then we're going to begin our design. Look at how easy this wreath has been. I mean, anyone can do it. It is very beginning friendly, and you can see that the results are just spectacular. So I'm going to put these last two on. And then we're going to meet back and get ready for our design. I'm getting ready to add this last petal over here on this opposite side right there. And we just met right in the middle there, right at the four points have all met. And look at how easy that was. So literally eight, eight, 17. That's what it took to make this gorgeous base to this wreath. That is, this is just gonna look spectacular. So we're gonna get ready. I'm gonna go find, um, get my design ready and we're gonna move on to the next design step. I'm back. So I went through my stash and I came up with this design and I just wanted to show you just how fun it can be. You just get creative, get in that, that flower stash, your home accent stash, whatever you have and build your design. So I, I don't have anything secured. I just wanted to show you, this is first how I do things. First, I have to kind of figure out my design. And that takes a while. I have to fill it. Uh, I have to have that creative energy flowing through me. And this particular design is for a client. And she wanted a wreath that was love, ocean, sustainability. And this is my concept. So I just wanted to share it with you. So that's why it might be a little bit more elaborate, but I just wanted to show you the possibilities. And basically, so I'm gonna start deconstructing it, okay? And this is just my basic design. And then we're gonna just put everything back together. But look at that lavender, isn't that pretty? And then I just wanna kinda of keep it then this pretty, I don't know what that is, but that is gorgeous vine. I'm gonna put it down that way. Then we have this beautiful and just different textures. I remember I had these for a while, I've been wanting to use. And so we're just gonna start putting everything back. I like to get my design ready and look at how fun these are. I've had these two for a while. I love those. And so you can see I just have everything just stacked. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it all back together. And look at, I love those. They look like little dried flowers. 
and thought those were pretty and I love these give it some texture so see I came all the way down to the fern base here and this is what I, I did I just stacked some fern that's how we're gonna do we're just gonna start stacking everything on here and we're going to use zip ties or um, Chanel stems like we've been doing and I'm going to cut some more in half and we're just going to start taking these stems of our base hair and securing it to the wire frame or to our little the two sections here and we're just going to start securing everything down so I'm going to cut some of these and I'll be right back. So I have some more Chanel, half, cut them in half, some stems here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start putting this design back together. And I'm going to take first I'll just tie those together here. And we're just going to start securing everything to this wire frame. I see a little piece opening right there, a little opening on the wire right in between there. And I'm going to secure this down. So first we're going to secure things with our Chanel stems. I'm going to put my base down this way. And see there's a little opening right there and I'm just going to stick that right in there. And just start building this up. And then we're going to add some little hot glue too just for some extra but right now this is what I'm gonna start doing is just putting this base back together the way I had it and I'm gonna put this one there's a frame right here or a piece of wire I'll just tie that one right to that wire frame I'm gonna flip it over so you can see what I'm doing that was this one right here. So I am going to make sure, just tie that one right to that wire frame. And we can clip that little plastic piece down to. Okay. I'm gonna leave that there for now in case we wanna pull it up and use it on something else. That's always nice that so we don't have to, we can keep using this Chanel stem, let's just pull it back up because we had that slack and just have it to secure another, some more fern here. We'll put this little piece right there in that Chanel stem. All right, so we're getting everything back and let's see, we'll put this guy right. Uh, let's see. Put him right, we'll put that right, right in this one here. And I'll just wrap that at the end right there. Like I said, we're gonna hot glue, give everything a little hot glue here in a minute too. So we're gonna build everything back up. So we have our fern in place. And now, let's see, put everything back the way it was. And I had that right there. I remember that. And you can see the possibilities with this and how easy this is to work with. So this one, just going to stick the Chanel stem right there. Give it a twist. And I see a little piece of wire right there, and then it, it'll go over that other one too. And there's the two ends right there. All right, so we got those there. And let's see, I'm gonna start adding these. I had, I know those were there. I just love these. I've had these for a while and I just, I'm so happy I'm using those. They're so cool. I love adding different textures. I get most of my floral from Hobby Lobby, um, Joann's 
too. Sometimes I'll get the big, um, the big long garland strands with different, like this fern, things like that. But majority of my stuff is all from Hobby Lobby because I just think it looks the most uh, realistic. And I just, I love their selection of floral. And it's always there. You always know if you have to make it, you know, you're making another wreath, that you're, you're gonna find your supplies. You're gonna find that same flower, all that. Okay, so I'm gonna add these now. And where do I wanna put these? I'm gonna try to find a piece of wire frame right here. And I'm not gonna flip it back over. You, I'm just going, you get the general idea. We're just securing everything to some sort of piece of wire. That one. And let's see, these will put about like that. And even if you have to just secure it to um, like one of the other stems, that's fine too. That's what I'm gonna do right here because we're gonna be stacking and, and gluing and everything's just gonna be stay in its spot. There we go, we'll just go like that for those. All right, so we're getting there. So I'm gonna keep building and as you get the general idea and I loved these flowing down the bottom. I like to keep things um, I tend a lot of times to be, uh, I'll do my design and then I take a picture, have it on the wall and it, it to me, it's too top heavy. So I, I try to balance things out and just, you know, just have fun, have fun with your design. It's so fun to play with different flower combinations and textures. I have fun. The design part is just my favorite. I, I just let that creative flow go and it, it's just so fun it's like a you get those crafting endorphins <laughs> i'm gonna just put that little stent well i need somewhere to secure this little chanel some because i'm gonna clip this off that is gonna be too big right there so we're gonna take the thicker wire cutters and we're just gonna clip that one and I'm gonna find a little spot for this. I'm just gonna keep using this nice big stem here in the middle. It's a good one to work off of. All right, you can see how easy that is. And I'm building back that design up the way I had it. And I also get a lot of these fun little home accents from um, Hobby Lobby as well in the table decor section. And then you can just take your Chanel stem like this. Whoops, we'll just cut that one off. Add a little bit more there than just that one little piece. And I just will go like that. And then you have a little accent ball that you can put in as well. So I'm gonna keep building this design just like we're doing, securing everything down. I'm gonna heat my hot glue gun. We're gonna just give it a dab of glue here in the middle, and then I'm gonna keep building, and I'll be right back. I have my hot glue gun heating up, and for little stems like this, I'm just gonna slide them underneath, and then I'm gonna put some hot glue, this lavender like that. It's gonna slide under, find a good spot, and just wedge it in, and that'll be fine. You won't have to do the Chanel stem on that. I just wanted to show you that. See the ends right here, and then we're just gonna glue everything. So we are building up, and this is looking gorgeous. I'm gonna keep adding these little, I love those, those little pods, add some texture. So I'm gonna keep building. I don't really have that much left. I just have these little pods here, and I have the dried flowers. We're gonna add some of those. And I think we're pretty much, that's gonna be about it. And then we're gonna add, I love that. And then we're gonna add our shells and our accents and our final hydrangea, it's my favorite. So let me keep working. Design's almost finished and isn't this fun? And I'm so glad I got to share this design with you today. I'll be back. 
So I have my hot glue gun heated up and I'm just gonna add just some hot glue like that. And then when you start adding your little stems or your next accents, if you're not using the, if it's not a big enough piece for the Chanel stem, you're just gonna put a little glue at the tip and you're just gonna slide them in just like that. And I'm gonna keep adding these next little floral pieces to the design and you're just going to keep just adding your design it's not going to matter about this because you can add your finishing flowers at the end and it's going to cover all that or you can do a big bow whatever you want to do you can see that the possibilities are endless and look at how gorgeous our design is turning out and look how easy that was just a few scraps a flower, some floral accents that I've been saving. You cut them up and you put them all down and look at how easy this is. So I'm gonna keep adding some more. It's okay, I don't know why I'm, I could just hold it right over there because that's not gonna matter, it needs glue anyways. And we're just gonna keep having fun building up our design here and look at how fun this is it's probably my favorite part is just coming up with that design oh look at what i found i bought one of these these little silicone tips for hot glue and boy has that been a game changer i mean i don't really need it right now but you never know if i have to poke something down and let me go ahead and stick that in there. See if I had to, go like that. I don't get burned. So cool. Who would have thought it could be that easy all my life with hot glue burns? Okay. There we go. I am just loving this design so far with the fern. I think this makes a huge statement. All right, we're getting there. Oops, this one needs to go in better. Ooh, well, I guess I needed one on my thumb. See, and that wouldn't have happened. I guess I shouldn't have been talking so soon, huh? Okay, so we have that. I'm gonna keep going with this design. I mean, we really don't have that much left. I'm going to probably start getting ready for the placement of these guys. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use two or one, but I'll figure that out here in a minute. And then we'll be putting our finishing um, accent touches on. And I do want to show you real quick how I prep these. Um, if I'm going to put something on a wreath, I want to, you know what? I'm going to use a full Chanel stem just in case. And this is where this little guy comes in handy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some hot glue right there. I have my Chanel stem and a piece of felt, and I'm just gonna put it right over the end there where I have the hot glue, and we're gonna let that dry. And that's gonna give us something to secure it to our wreath. I'm gonna do the same thing with this starfish. And we already did this home accent ball. We didn't need to do any of that, but I will just, whoops, give it a little dab right there just for extra security. And this is what I do with any kind of accents like this because, um, you know, I just don't trust just hot glue. I want my designs to be quality. And we're just going to do this little guy right in there. Okay, so we're going to let those dry. And I'm going to keep building this design up. So these bigger pieces, I'm doing the Chanel stem twist it around with the hot glue and I'm 
using the larger one so I can get through to a, a wire to secure it real good. So I'm adding my hydrangeas now. I'm adding them right in the middle and you can see that it's covering up everything that we, all of our things in the middle there. I'm just gonna get these last two Chanel stems, try to secure them to the back here. And I'm gonna go around each side of the frame and give it a little clip. So our design is coming together. I'm gonna add this little starfish right here. I am loving how this concept is turning out. A client asked me to do a love ocean sustainability and this was my concept. So I added one more hydrangea in the middle. I felt like it needed just a little something extra. And now we are getting ready to wrap up the last finishing touches. I'm gonna put a starfish and a shell, this little cool home accent ball, and I'm gonna add a few finishing touches and we're about ready to wrap up this design. I put those last few finishing touches on the wreath and this is my version of a wreath that a client requested for me to do. And she wanted a love ocean sustainability. Those were my directions and this is my concept. And I'm so happy that I got to share this with you. But you could see how easy and fun this wreath was to make and how creative you can get with your designs. So I'm so happy that you came by my channel and crafted this gorgeous wreath with me today and that you'll come back to my channel and craft with me some more. Thanks for joining Holly Hobbies from my heart to yours.